We created a game called Dragon Box Adaptive. We call it Adaptive because the game is capable of adjusting uniquely to every specific primary school kid or a senior in high school and presenting algebra in a very specific, unique way to every child such that they learn in the fastest, most effective way. Mine got to eat popcorn. Fun and learning, I feel like they should go together. I know fractions, decimals, addition, subtraction, multiplication, algebra. First time with algebra. I know algebra. It's a pretty fun game. You can learn algebra pretty fast. One of the most amazing things in Washington State Algebra Challenge is that if you look at the spectrum of all kids, 93% of them were able to reach 100% mastery on this algebra concept. What's even more amazing is that this was the case for anybody who spent an hour and a half or more on this game. When we started off, I had several students that said, Algebra? I can't do algebra. And I said, no, no, it's a game. And once they started, they didn't want to stop. I got a new monster! Me too! I don't really like math that much, but if it's a math game, then I'm fine with it. I like the game concept, but I think it's much more engaging than just, you know, your straight up variables on a page. Yeah, the zeros are blocking it, so I'm going to keep making square, 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 and the twos are going to stay in this exact same place. We launched it with the sixth graders and the seventh graders, and they were impressed. They had a ton of fun. We actually worked through first period, missed the bell, and all our kids were late for second period. Not one student looked up and said, Miss Abby, the cl class is over, we have to go. Not one student, which was phenomenal. They're, they're growing up in a generation where everything's a video game, everything's like quick, quick, quick. There are more than just letters and numbers. They're like animals and monsters and stuff. It has like little cartoon characters. It's easier to visualize it because looking at the numbers, it makes everything seem so much harder. But when you look at the pictures and put them together, it makes more sense. It makes it fun, but it's also doing schoolwork. Now my favorite subject in school is math. I did it! I forgot how to do that level. To get them excited about this, we introduced it as a statewide challenge and that they were a part of something really large and really exciting. It creates a positive outlook on math. It creates success around areas that they traditionally have not been successful in. And it really just, it brought some of our students to the next level with their own personal confidence. And that's what I've seen change the most, is the want to do more math. The overarching goal of algebra challenges across many states and countries is to find a completely new pathway towards not just achieving mastery, but engagement of a wide populations of students uh, around a particular topic of learning. Uh, what this means is that we're not just specializing the curriculum for every kid to reach mastery in a different way, but we're specializing such that they're engaged in different ways towards the general goal of really being intrigued and excited about the things that they're learning. Uh, this means that we're not just changing the kinds of problems that they get, but what kind of things will get them more excited over time, such that in a very short amount of time, they can reach this really amazing levels of mastery uh, on a concept. Several months after Washington State Challenge, we conducted the challenge over the entire country of Norway. Huge number of kids participated. Uh, they solved almost 8 million equations. And something they were really excited about, almost 40% of all work was done at home, completely voluntary. To us, this is very exciting because it shows uh, the engagement way beyond uh, the brick and mortar school days. One thing that's nice with the setup of this competition is that it's not a win-lose competition. It's the entire state is all on the same team working towards the same goal. And so the opponent is the algebra. We're trying to build students who have an understanding of math. We're trying to develop students' minds around talking about math and being a mathematician, not just doing math. Only a few weeks later, we used the data from Norway Challenge uh, and presented a brand new challenge to Minnesota State. Because the algorithms improve with extra data, we were able to improve from 93% to 
95% of all the kids in Minnesota reaching 100% mastery, and they were doing it in 5% less time. We expect that with subsequent challenges, we'll be able to improve with extra data and have better and better results. Drag another of those warm things on there. We're also very excited about the future. For example, this fall, we're organizing a Brazil algebra challenge with potentially over 43 million kids participating we we'll look forward to working with many other states and countries, hopefully reaching unknown percentages of kids mastering algebra concepts.